Hey there everybody, this is Mr. Green. In this lesson, we're going to look at factoring and solving quadratic equations. To solve a quadratic equation with factoring, you need to use the zero product property. This property says that if you have a product a times b equals zero, then either a equals zero or b equals zero. To use this property to solve a quadratic equation, you need to do the following three things. First, you need to make sure you write the equation with a zero as one side. Then you need to factor the other side of the equation. And finally, set each factor equal to zero and solve. Let's work through a couple examples together. Our first equation says x squared minus 10 equals 3x. To get a zero as one side of the equation, we need to subtract 3x from both sides. That'll give us x squared minus 3x minus 10 equals 0. So now we're ready to factor. We can factor the left side of the equation to two binomials, x minus 5 and x plus 2. So the zero product property tells us that x minus 5 equals 0 or x plus 2 equals 0. And these two equations give us two solutions x equals 5, or x equals negative 2. And we've got the solutions for this equation. Let's move on to the second example. This time we have 3x cubed equals 4x times 2x minus 1. So our first step is to distribute 4x to 2x minus 1. That'll give us 3x cubed equals 8x squared minus 4x. To get a zero as one side here, we need to subtract 8x squared and add 4x to both sides. That'll give us 3x cubed minus 8x squared plus 4x. Now to factor this equation, we should pull out the greatest common factor of x. And we'll have x times 3x squared minus 8x plus 4. But we can factor this expression on the left side even more. We can break 3x squared minus 8x plus 4 into two binomials. Write what you think those two binomials are and hit the continue button to move on. All right, welcome back. Hopefully you wrote 3x minus 2 and x minus 2. So this time we have three factors we have to set equal to 0 x equals 0, or 3x minus 2 equals 0, or x minus 2 equals 0. And we get three solutions. 0, 2 thirds, or 2. So let's list them. And we've got our solutions for this second equation. Now let's finish up by talking about multiple roots. This is a special situation. Multiple roots occur when you have repeated factors in your equation. In this equation, the factor of x minus 6 occurs two times because of the square. But you only need to set one of the factors equal to 0 to solve. And you get x equals 6. Now that's called a double root because of the two factors of x minus 6. So watch out for these multiple root situations. And that wraps up this lesson on solving quadratic equations with factoring. Great job, and good luck on the rest of your homework. You can get more Algebra 2 help by signing up for Nutshell Math. I'll see you next time.